Hi, John McElroy here, talking all things automotive. And I want to talk about what I think is the most important breakthrough in brakes that this industry has seen in 40 years. The last big breakthrough was when anti-lock brakes, or ABS, came out in the early 1980s. But now Brembo has come up with a brand new kind of brake system that obsoletes everything that's on the road today. In time, I think, this new brake system is going to end up on every vehicle. Just like when ABS first came out, it was only on luxury cars, but now it's on everything. But first, some history. The first brakes on the earliest cars back at the turn of the 20th century were primitive. They were often just a set of friction bands that clamped around the rear axle, as you can see in this drawing from the 1912 book, A Duel's Answers on Automobiles, which sits on the bookshelf of my office. They were usually activated by yanking on a lever next to the driver. It didn't work very well, but it didn't matter, because this was back in the time when horseless carriages could barely hit 20 miles an hour. Later, when cars became more powerful and faster, automakers put a brake pedal on the floor and brake drums on the rear wheels. When you pushed on the pedal, it would pull on rods that were connected to the brake shoes and push them out against the brake drums. You know, most cars built before 1920 didn't even have front brakes. They were only on the rear. An urban legend at the time was that if you put brakes on the front and slammed on the brakes, the car would go end over end and pinwheel down the road. Hydraulically actuated drum brakes didn't even come into common use until the 1920s, and even then they were used on high-end expensive cars. Widespread use of hydraulic brakes really didn't happen until the 1930s. And then it took another 20 years before the next big step happened, and that was with disc brakes. Even so, it took nearly another 20 years on top of that before they came into widespread use. The last big breakthrough was with ABS in the early 1980s, and that brings us to the present day. Today's brakes all work the same. You step on the pedal and it's connected to a master cylinder that pushes hydraulic fluid to brake cylinders that are located at our, all four wheels. When you step on the pedal, the brake pads on all four wheels activate at the same time. But the new Brembo system, which they call Sensify, controls the braking at each wheel independently. And that's a whole new ball game, especially when it comes to emergency braking and even more so when it's on wet or slippery surfaces. Here's how it works. When you press on the brake pedal, there's no mechanical connection to the brakes at all. Instead, the brake pedal module sends electronic signals to a brake control unit or a computer. And that in turn sends signals to hydraulic actuators that pump fluid to the calipers and that in turn activates the brake pistons. That's the fully hydraulic version of the system. But automakers can choose to do away with hydraulics altogether and use electric motors to actuate the brakes. In this version, the brake control unit sends signals to electric motors that activate the pistons in the calipers. Or automakers can even choose to use a combination of hydraulic and electric actuation, say with hydraulics on the front and electric on the rear. If it's hydraulic, Brembo calls it a wet system. If it's electric, it calls it dry. Brembo is offering these different combinations because the best application depends on what kind of vehicle it goes on. Hydraulics are probably best suited for big heavy SUVs, but low speed or commercial vehicles will probably go dry. And other applications will be a combination of wet and dry. Sports cars and high performance cars will probably use a wet system because with a dry system, the electric actuators add more unsprung weight to each wheel, and that detracts from the ride and handling. But I'm also told that over time, those electric actuators will become light enough that even hypercars will probably go with the dry system. Brembo allowed us to test drive the system at Michelin's Proving Grounds in North Carolina, and the results were spectacular. Interestingly, Brembo used Tesla dual motor Model 3s for the test, because Brembo says that car comes with one of the best braking systems available. And by the way, if you don't know it, Tesla uses Brembo brakes on its cars. But as good as what Tesla has today is, the new Sensify system is clearly superior. First off, we did a 50 mile an hour slam on the brake test on a dry and wet surface. 
The ABS system on the Model 3s with the standard brakes made a lot of noise. The pedal pulsated and the steering wheel twitched ever so slightly. But with the same test in a Model 3 with Brembo's Sensify brakes, it was quiet and smooth. No pedal pulsing, no noise, no tire twitch. You just slam on the brakes and bring the car to a stop. Brembo says it takes about 180 milliseconds to completely lock the brakes with today's system, but only 100 milliseconds with Sensify. Then we went to another part of the proving grounds to do high-speed brake tests while cornering. With the standard brakes, it was the same story. Lots of brake pedal pulsing, lots of noise, and in this case, some understeer as well. But with Sensify, all of that goes away. It's quiet, smooth, and totally predictable. It makes an emergency slam on the brake stop feel like a normal braking maneuver. And it eliminates understeer because it can put more brake pressure on the outside wheels, something that today's braking system cannot do. Next up was emergency braking and accident avoidance maneuvers. Even in the wet, Sensify removes all the noise and pulsating distractions, and that makes it easier for the driver to focus on steering around any obstacle. Sensify can be fitted to any kind of vehicle, ranging from city cars to sedans to SUVs and even commercial vehicles. And with electric vehicles, it maximizes the regen that you can get from each wheel. Automakers are keenly interested in Sensify. For one thing, it'll make it easier to attach the brakes on cars at the assembly plant, especially if it's a dry system. That would allow automakers to get rid of all the drums of brake fluid they need next to the line and eliminate any need to bleed the brakes. So that could reduce overall cost. But the best selling point is that it'll make drivers feel far safer and more comfortable especially in emergency situations. I think Sensify is going to quickly make its way to every performance car and, over time, to just about every vehicle. Brembo says it will go into production in 2024, but it will not say who the first car company will be to use it. But if I had to guess, I would guess it'd be Tesla.